it's like the most joyous homecoming in the world. It's a homecoming fit for a queen, or in this case, a three-year-old Australian Labradoodle, back home after more than a week lost in the wilderness. Everyone with handmade signs and posters and probably 25 homes made signs welcoming her home. Back on July 31st, Kim Spiro set out on a birthday backpacking trip in the Mount Baker wilderness, east of Bellingham, Washington. Kim was with some friends and her dog, Penny. As soon as the group reached the campsite that first evening, Kim let Penny off the leash. She ran into some thick trees and just disappeared. And I was holding her leash. I jumped up. It was in 15 seconds. She, she just disappeared. Kim and her friends spent hours scouring the rugged terrain for any sign of Penny. But she was gone. I've never experienced trauma and shock before in my life. But I was in complete shock. I, I thought I was going to throw up. I, I, was, I couldn't believe it. Kim eventually returned home to Portland, but the search for Penny was far from over. Kim turned to a special search and rescue team and drone operators, even a psychic in Kentucky. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know what to say, except I kept holding out hope. Fast forward to this past Sunday morning. By this point, Penny had been missing for nine nights. Kim's phone rang. The Australian Labradoodle had been found. I screamed. I apparently used a lot of expletives. I, I cried. I laughed hysterically. Kim says a woman who had gone to the Mount Baker wilderness to hike and climb found Penny in the parking lot at the trailhead. There's bears, cougar, and, and coyote bear. And Penny's a 20-pound fluffy little blonde Labradoodle. She's scrappy, but I didn't know that she could... Handle the back country. Turns out she can, and she did. An accomplishment, no doubt. But now Penny's back home, where she belongs. And right now, she's allowed to have five meals a day and as many treats as she wants. So she is one happy little dog. Well, I'd say Penny should get whatever she wants for a while, right? Kim says aside from losing a few pounds and a few teeth, Penny is doing great considering the circumstances. I'm Mike Benner for KGW News.